Hey, RBA, this is the Tam. You know another guy named Mike. Make sure you check out my main man, Mike King Biz. Monday through Friday, 5 to 7 a.m. on Sports 106. One on the mic with Mike is the champion of Business Talk Radio. You're starting to irritate me. On the mic with Mike. Uh, on the mic with Mike. On the mic with Mike. On the mic with Mike. He's like a guru. No, he's a businessman with a great radio show. And he supports the nonprofits. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to On the Mic. It is the best business radio program around. You can hear us on ESPN Richmond 106.1. That's where you find me, part of my King Biz Radio Network. I tell you, we get the best and the brightest, and today it is no exception. I'm out there. I'm just a humble talk show host, and I'm out there minding my business. I see this guy out there doing big things, creating a buzz, and, well, he's here with us. Nate Daniels, welcome to the program, sir. I uh, Thank you so much, Mike, for having me. I'm excited to be here. I really appreciate the invite. All right, let's get the, the, your story out the way. It's, it's incredible, and what you're doing out there now is, is really inspiring. There you go. Well, there great. You go. All right, there you go. Floor's yours. Absolutely. Well, uh, again, thank you for having me. Um, I'm the owner of Daniel Sports Performance. Uh, it's a sports performance facility over in Midlothian, Virginia. We train athletes of all sports. We do strength and conditioning, speed, agility, and quickness. Um, and we uh, allow athletes that want to develop their athleticism to have a home to come and do that. Um, I was fortunate throughout my athletic career to have mentors and coaches along the way to provide opportunities for me. And so now, you know, I'm passionate about doing the same thing for them. Passing along. So word on the street, you got some street cred. <laughs> you, you got some street cred. All right, let, let's get the story. Tell people who you are and what you do. Yeah, so um, I'm able to connect with the athletes. I feel like uh, a big reason is is because of my athletic background. Like uh, like I had mentioned before, I had coaches that provided opportunities for me, and so I was a athlete, three sport athlete up at Fairfax High School in Northern Virginia. Okay. Um, you know, I had most of my success uh, on the football field. Um, was blessed to be on some good championship teams there, and was decorated with some honors such as the you know all state, and uh, I was in, eventually inducted to the high school hall of fame there at Fairfax, which I'm proud of, and. Went from there to Farham College. Uh, uh, go Panthers, by the way, all my Panther listeners that will be out there listening to this. I uh, went to Farham College. Uh, I had a great time there. Uh, I was blessed with a, a good career and was inducted to my college Hall of Fame as well. So uh, because of that, you know, that the success at that level, I was able to uh, go ahead and parlay that into a professional career. I had an opportunity with a uh, rookie camp with the Baltimore Ravens uh, and then also played in the Arena Football League for six years. Uh, all righty, so let me ask you. There's a lot of, lot of parents out there with kids who are trying to make that move. How do you, when you went from the high school level to the college level to the pro level, mm -hmm. what's it take to get to that next level? And I know there's, there's people going to say hard work. Uh, there's some mentorship that's involved there. Give our listeners an idea of what that means to go from one level to the next. Well, yeah. So going from one level to the next, obviously, is extremely difficult. Um, you you know, obviously, all the numbers and the percentages as far as when you go from one uh, level to the next. Um, I know with the high school level, only seven percent of the, the high school athletes move on to collegiate, and then obviously, there's a smaller percentage that go on to the pros. But you know. First and foremost, people skip this, but it takes a whole lot of talent. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest exactly. with you. You have to be, you have to be gifted, um, you know, athletically first and foremost. And then the second thing is you have to be gifted with the intangibles that it takes, um, you know, your, your sports IQ, how you see the game, how you prepare for the game, uh, the time and effort that you, you spend developing your craft um, and all of that. And you, and you have to also be fortunate and blessed to stay healthy. Uh, like I tell all my athletes, your best abil uh, ability is your availability. Um, you have to be fortunate enough to be able to stay on the field long enough to, to make the, enough plays to, to get eyeballs on you. And then when you get that opportunity, uh, you have to be able to take advantage of it. Okay, Mike King, Nick Daniels is here. Uh, ESPN Richmond Nats, we're coming to you from. Uh, he is out there doing some really incredible things. So let's talk about your, your organization. You talk about strength and agility and all those things from the, from the physical aspect, from the sporting aspect, but you're building character too. That's a big part of it. 
Right. Absolutely. Um, that's one of the big things I talk with our parents about when they're coming into the program. Uh, because of my experience as, a, as an athlete and, and on and off the field, I try to develop these kids' mindset so they understand that uh, being an athlete is great, but being a good person is better because making decisions off the field is going to allow you to flourish on the field or court. Uh, so I, I definitely try to instill and pass along all of the lessons that I learned throughout my career, uh, making sure that I'm helping these kids set goals and teaching them how to work diligently to achieve those goals. Uh, one of the biggest things with the kids that I work with now is um, they want it now. Um, and everything well, we, doesn't, well, you know, you we know, do live in a time now yeah. because it's not, we ain't just killing the kids because the parents are kind of like, I kind of want it now. We do yeah. live in a, in a society now. So you have to teach them some patience Absolutely, in a world where patience is short. Absolutely. And even more with this generation, because of social media, they see the end goal and they see that the picture and they think that that's what it was, but they didn't see all of the work that it took for that person to get to that picture, accepting that award, uh, being on a cover of a magazine or doing an interview or, or making it to a league. They just see the end result, uh, but no one just lands on top of a mountain. They climb and they've been climbing long before you ever knew who they were or what they were doing. So just, uh, um, teaching them that and then also lastly instilling the desire to compete uh, a lot, you know you have to have any be an elite competitor in everything that you do if you want to be an elite athlete um, and that means you're competing in the classroom competing in the weight room in the film room and the practice field um, and, and if you do that day after day week after week and you have talent you'll get the results that you're looking for Hey, Daniels is here with us. He got, he played for folks who are not looking. He's sparking some hardware on, on the hand. <laughs> okay. Let, let's talk about what you're wearing over there. Uh, this is my uh, high school hall of fame ring. Um, and we've got a big playoff game tonight. Lions, let's get it done in the den. We're nine and one. We've got our first playoff game tonight. So uh, I'll be looking closely guys. Get it done. All righty. On the mic with Mike ESPN, Richard 106.1. We've got to go away for a moment and pay some bills. Uh, we'll be back on the other side. Hi, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy with Beyond. I believe it should not be confusing or expensive for your business to accept credit cards. As a social enterprise business advocate, my mission gets you paid faster with fair rates, helping your business grow. We can be contacted at area code 804-503-8472, 804-503-8472, or at getbeyond.com. Again, I'm Tom Childry, the credit card guy. Quick, easy collect. We make it easier than you expect. This is Daniel. Mike King says, All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. And they stay there. programming the game. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You heard the man. This is the best business radio program around. Mike King here, ESPN Richmond 106.1. Back with my man, Nate Daniels is here. Welcome back, sir. Yes, sir. It's great to be here. All righty. So here, you not besides being an accomplished athlete, business owner, you are also an author of children's books. What, what, how do you get in the business of writing children's books? Well, absolutely. Well, one thing that I'm very passionate about is uh, impacting kids in a positive manner. So I'm always looking for vehicles to do that. Um, so I, uh, you know, writing children's books is an amazing way to, to impact kids, even at a younger age when, when the kids that I actually train. And I use these books to inspire them to, uh, to you know, inspire them to chase their dreams. Um, so um, years ago, I had the idea to write the children's books, but it's one of those projects that you know, you put off, you know, okay. it's, it, there's always something going on. You're always either busy uh, running your business or, or, or with life and you, and you put it off. And, uh, and finally, when the pandemic hit in, um, you know, 2020 in March, you know, I made a decision right there that this was a time because I had some downtime when the gym uh, was was closed down to, to, to start on this project. And it was important to me. Uh, so that's when I um, began to get my first book published. Uh, so you want to be a pro. Uh, which is a amazing story of a young kid named Devin uh, that is absolutely in love with the game of football. And it, it shows the um, journey with his father uh, and him uh, from a youth ball uh, as he goes through trials and tribulations all, all the way up through. through. Uh, Devin, is that Devin Nate? <laughs> Devin Nate. There's some, definitely some parallels uh, from my life in the book. You'll see some, some places that I've been um, colors and representations of some of the schools that I played at. Um, and definitely some some things from my life in there, but it's not a direct carbon copy of everything that I went through. Okay, you take the next step. So you want to be a hoop star? Yeah. So so you want to be a hoop star? I'm super proud of this book. This book was just released uh, last week. Um, you to to big acclaim, no doubt. Yes, absolutely. It went to a number one new release on Amazon for children's uh, basketball books. Um, so this one documents um, young Bella. Uh, she's an amazing, uh, competitive, vivacious uh, young girl, beautiful young girl that uh, is in love with the game of basketball. Um, I thought this book was super important uh, because of the representation to show a young lady um, striving for greatness, both athletically uh, and off the court. Um, and also this book is special too, because it documents the, the relationship between a mother and a daughter. Um, a lot of the children's books, you'll see a uh, sports children's books, you'll see the father and the son. Uh, but this mother was an accomplished athlete in her own right. She was a collegiate athlete and a standout, a star high school basketball player. So I thought that that was super special and different and something that I really hadn't seen much of. Mike King, Nate Daniels, you're doing big things in the community. Can you talk about where we are, the part that sports plays in character building? Because that's part of your business model as well. That Not only are you helping kids with strength and agility and all those things, that you are offering that to help them in life as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the biggest things that uh, you know I tell all the athletes and parents when they come into this program um, we're looking to develop the entire student athlete, um, not just the athlete, but everything that it will take to be successful both on and off the field and court. Um, so, yes, I we, we constantly uh, re review uh, goal setting. Uh, we, we review intangibles that it's going to take for you to be successful. Um, I'm a mentor to so many kids, uh, not only in this area, but all, all, all over the country that reach out to me for advice and guidance. And um, a lot of times I've been fortunate that my voice will resonate with them because of some of the things that I've been through and they see a lot of parallels and things that they may want to attain or, or chase in my life. Uh, and I'm able to uh, break through and, and, and touch some of these kids and, and get them going down the right path. And the name of the business, your business is? Uh, Daniel Sports Performance. We're located in Midlothian, Virginia. You can follow us on Facebook. Uh, you can Google uh, Daniel Sports Performance, Instagram at Daniel Sports Performance. Um, and if you're looking in and interested in any of my children's books, um, you can uh, go Google Nate Daniels and go to my website to get them, or you can go to Amazon, uh, Google my name or the book titles. So you want to be a pro or so you want to be a hoop star and they'll pop up for you and always appreciate that support. Let me ask you. So we always talk to people about making dreams come true. So the athletic endeavors, you knew early on that you had it, you had it. What to take when you started having those books inside of you? Like you say, you're going 100 miles now. The pandemic slows you down. All of a sudden, you got to make that happen. Can you talk a little bit about that? 
Um, yeah, so it's one of those things in in life. Um, I always encourage people. One of the biggest things that people think about is, oh, I have time. You know, I have time. I have time to do this. I have time to do that. And what I encourage people is to have a sense of urgency. And, and when the pandemic hit, you know, I made a decision that I wanted to move forward in this because it was a project that was inside of me that I wanted to get out and I wanted to touch uh, kids and inspire kids and, 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 and to help propel them to whatever dream or goal they had. So I made a decision that I was going to get it done. Um, and that's how I'm living my life at this point. You know, I, I, I don't take any day for granted, you know, and I want to touch as many people as I can help as many people as I can, especially kids. Um, and I thought that this book would be a great vehicle to do that. That's true. Because a lot of times, like you say, you do see the, the father's son angle done a lot. Mm -hmm. Very rarely is it, is it written or explored from the position of the mother and daughter? Absolutely. That, that's something that that's really the uh, what's next for uh, for you. Another book on the horizon. Yeah, I definitely have a, a, a trilogy coming out as far as another a children's book. Um, that's definitely in the works already in production and working on that. Um, and then I'll be getting in some other uh, sports mindset books, uh, passing along mindset and, and, and uh, mentality, uh, sports mentality uh, tips and, and, and guidance books that will be coming down the road as well. Um, at Daniel, and that's as far as the writing, as far as Daniel's sports performance, um, we've got a lot planned. Um, coming into the, um, the new year, we'll be offering adult services as well. Right now, we train athletes, specifically youth athletes or competitive athletes, but we'll be offering um, adult services, one-on-one -on -one personal training for adults, uh, group fitness classes for adults. Um, yoga classes for adults. So we're super excited about that. Um, breaking into the new year, we're going to be help even more people uh, reach their fitness goals. What level do parents bring their kids to start in your program? Are there people who are established or my kid is, how do I know that my kid needs to come to Nate Daniels? Yeah, so we start as young as eight and we go all the way up to professional ranks. Uh, we've got some guys in the NFL right now. And uh, so the, what I look for, I'm a little bit different than a lot of trainers. Uh, most trainers will accept any kid. I'm looking for specific kids and specific families. And the first thing I look for, is it the kid's dream or is it the parent's dream? Because uh, you'll see some situations where it's almost like the parent wants it more than the kids. But I want to train kids that they love the game that they play. They want to work out. They want to get better. Um, and they want to be there. Um, I have two amazing trainers that work with me. Um, that, that, that are just as passionate about uh, affecting kids as possible. So that's the first thing I look for. Um, the second thing I look for is uh, the, their ability to be coachable. Um, you know, are they able to accept direction and, they, and they're excited about it, it, making those changes? And as long as I have those two things, their talent level is irrelevant to me. Um, whether they're a five-star going to Alabama or a kid that's just trying to make the team, my job is to develop whatever athleticism that you have and, and make it flourish. Um, and long as you have those intangibles, you love the game, you want to work, you're coachable, we've got a spot for you at, at Daniel Sports Performance. One of my, Mike Nate Daniels is here. We'd like to thank you for, for coming in. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, he's done some big things in the community. Make sure. So one last time, how can people find you? Yeah, so um, if you're on social media, you can find me on uh, uh, Instagram at Daniel Sports Performance. Uh, you can Google uh, Facebook, Daniel Sports Performance. You can find me on Twitter, uh, Nate Daniels DSP. Um, if you're interested in any of my children's books, you can go to Amazon and, and Google Nate Daniels. Both of them will come up. So you want to be a pro and so you want to be a hoop star. My latest one that just was released last week. Um, you can reach out to me to me at any of those platforms. Um, love to hear from you if you're interested in getting your athlete trained or any of the children's books. Nick Daniel, thanks for coming in, sir. On the mic with Mike, we bring you the best and the brightest. This guy's the reason why I say that. Thanks, now take care.